Hi, I'm Dr. Deb, and this is Sahifa, September 11th, and I am here with Rick Thexton, our Director of Security and Operations. As you know, there's nothing more important than the safety and security of your children. And in addition to that, we're constantly looking for ways that we can improve systems to be more effective and efficient. Well, part of that effort, which falls under Strategy 5 of our strategic plan, has to do with an innovation this week known as Dragon Cards. Rick, tell us about Dragon Cards. What's the purpose behind them? Thanks, Dr. Dibb. Uh, the purpose behind the Dragon Card is to provide a, a network-supported uh, access control uh, student services uh, program that, that allows us to uh, well allow for cashless campus, uh, uh, streamline access uh, and, and actually better access protocols. So uh, we went to a, a few companies and looked around at, at what those options were, what, what could service uh, our school with all of our needs and we came to the Dragon Card. So Rick, this week we were distributing the cards. Um, what are we doing with Dragon Cards this week? Tell us about that. This week we'll be using Dragon Cards for cafeteria services. Um, we, we are at the point where we've, we've issued more than 2,000 cards and wristbands to students, uh, another almost 2,000 cards to staff and family members, and now we're implementing them in our cashless uh, cafeteria system. Uh, we're, we're partnered with Aramark and we, we are using a point of sale system that allows uh, the students to simply tap their card for their meal purchases cashless campus Great. and ultimately really anything that um, that we our students buy um, we'll be able to use our card for so when we think about school trips when we think about um, other incidentals that students pay for ultimately we'll be able to put it on our card now in addition as we move through the campus improvement project this year and we um, are gradually able to implement different access systems. What will, it, what will the ID card look like when folks come through the gates? Absolutely, uh, a couple of pieces. The, the card is scalable, so what it allows for is as we, as we move past the, uh, the ability to, to, to buy meals or to even add library services or, or purchases at the campus store, um, 50% of the goal of this of this card is, is for a, a better and safer and more secure campus. So as, as you see, as we go into the remainder of the year, we'll be able to uh, look at turnstiles that will be controlled by uh, swipe card readers, uh, allowing us to differentiate between the users and visitors of the campus. Uh, it allows us to, to control access better to the areas of campus as well. Um, and so I think ultimately what it will do in the end is we will have a better uh, a sense of, of I say situational awareness that it allows us to ide identify the numbers of people on campus if there's an emergency it, it lets us uh, uh, provide rosters uh, and, and ensure that we've accounted for everyone and and make sure that we just have that that uh, accountability in place that's fabulous and so the long lines the needing to sign in will no longer be needed because we'll just be able to swipe that card in the turnstile Let's take a look at um, one of our kiosks and um, figure out how do you get money on the card. Hi, Rick Thexton here, and we are with Iyad and Lemis, and we are needing to top off Yusuf's cafeteria card. So, uh, so we're going to walk through this, uh, and we're going to start with Iyad's card, and we're going to do a top off on our Dragon Card kiosk. All right, you ready? Okay. Yeah, shall we do it? Absolutely. All right, so, so when you arrive and you're, you're wanting to top off Yusuf's card, um, let's say, for instance, and we'll start with, I, I, I failed, my, my card is at home, my card is in the car, I don't want to go back, how do I top off my child's card? Well, the, the way we'll go about that is we're going to go ahead and go to account top off, and then by family account, and I'll let you read that to me. Okay. Yeah. So we have an FM number. Go ahead, and we'll, I'll be a little more discreet so I won't have to, 200, and next, 
So this uh, the child's name is Yusef, and it says his card balance is negative 20 real. We can add to this by choosing the amount we wish to top up. Perfect. So when the when the indicator light turns green at the at the uh, cash receipt, you simply go ahead and put your bill your denomination in. Perfect. And it'll give you the remaining balance now. It'll say you added 500. You can it'll show that the 500 has, been success, has successfully been updated to your account balance and finish. Now, if you do have your card handy, we'll go ahead and look at the account balance by card. And either one of your cards will work. Okay, so it's got ten. Yes. And all you do is place it on the validator until it beeps. And then you can keep the card. And it gives your total okay. amount, your, your final balance. So yeah, it's very easy. easy. Very easy. Very yes, easy. it is. And handy as well. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.